happy to know that you are joining us for this session this morning. Before we start the session of today, where the topic is knowing this person called Antichrist and where his power comes from, first we'll have a word of prayer from our sister. Let's pray. Our God and our Father, we thank you for this morning. We thank you because you continue to equip us and to reveal the things of heaven unto us. And even as you equip us this morning on battles that we may face, on the challenges that come our way even as we walk in faith, we pray that Lord you may continue to speak to us and to minister to our hearts in your word as we read your scripture, as we search your faith. Be with us and speak to each one of us, even to our listeners this morning, that we may grow in faith and we may grow in and be equipped for the battle that is may face us. And this is our humble prayer of faith in Jesus' name. Amen. But for for that continuous revelation of his word, and even for God giving us direction, that in the midst of what seems to be the spirit of Antichrist in the world today. And even when you see the 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 what the fulfillments of the revelations that are there. God knew it before. Imagine how amazing God is. God knew it will come happen so much before that he revealed it to the men of old. And it was actually not only inspired but it was also written down. That today we can actually sit and read Revelation 13 and get to know what the word of God is telling us. I think there is hope because just like what you have said, in conquering the beast and the spirit of Antichrist. And we're going to do that by the spirit of God. Um, I like what you have said that it was written and God knew. When Abraham was told that he's going to receive a son, mm -hmm. he went and lived with her with Hagar. Mm -hmm. After that they could they bore Ishmael. Mm -hmm. And now Ishmael was chased away with, with his mother. And then the angel appeared to them in the desert and he told them that even though he was not to be a one, a, a, the one to, to, to carry the blessing, that he shall be great and he shall always be a thorn, that he shall be a sneer, that he shall be against the, the, now the, the, the family that was supposed to carry the blessing. And that is what we are experiencing today. I thank God because of what the Spirit of God does to us. And it's only that we are not attentive. It's only that we are not, we do not, uh, we do not hearken to what the Spirit of God is leading us to do. Like there's this man who, uh, um, he's a, he's a, he's a rabbi. He comes on the CBN. He was saying one day in his office where he, he has a shop, a man came in through the door. He felt the Spirit of God tell him, I think there's an instrument called the shofar. So he had the Spirit tell him, take the shofar and blow it. But he rubbed the, 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 the voice off. So when this man came in, he told him, the Spirit of God has led me here to buy a shofar. So imagine if he had blown the, the shofar before he came, mm. he would have been amazed. Mm. Like I was coming here to buy the shofar and I've seen you blowing the shofar. Mm. He would actually affirm that God was leading him to go buy the shofar. Mm. So how many times does the, God, the Spirit of God tell us, do not go there, say this, or don't say this, but we don't. Like what he said about the, speed, the, the, the Christians, we do not fight. You know, if you feel, I need to do this, I can stand and say this, but then, una, una so mm -hmm. I think that the Spirit of God is going to help us that we are able to conquer the spirit of, of, of the beast. Amen. Yeah. And uh, through the blood of the Lamb, the slain, he overcame the beast already, and we have the victory. And we believe we are more than conquerors. Despite the challenges that will face us, we will always win because we are on the winning side. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 